do we have a good opportunity or what? And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who not seen me before, my name is Langers. I am the overgrown child that is the scruffy trader. But this overgrown child is seeing a very good opportunity today. And it is on the DAX. Now, I have already traded this this morning on Morningstar. And I was very prudent with that trade, if you, if you check that out. Because I just wanted to get in and get out. But now it is pushing to a point where I think we can get some good money out of this with not a great deal of pain. So let me flick the charts on and we'll have a little look. So what we're we looking at? Well, I have the DAX here. Now if you bear with me, I just need to switch everything on. So... I should have done this to start with and I haven't not paying attention it's her fault My fault. didn't bring me the coffee because we all know scruffy likes of coffee well, you've got it now. and I've been at it since God knows what this morning thank you very much you love go. you as always right sorry so what we're looking at well it is quite simple this has had a colossal drop now it's stalled at this point here try to push up it failed and then it's fell down a bit okay so where's this going where where will it try and find its feet i guess is what we're looking at here well if i'm going back on the hourly there's nothing there so let's just drop this back to four hour there is still nothing there so i've got to come right back but when i come back here it's finding a touch point which is there and it's come down and it's aggressively gone to that level boom stalled and there's another level here right We've got a trading arena now. But if this goes back any further, as you can see, there is nothing there. But that level, it has been tested solid before. And if we go through, like I say, it's been up here for a long time. Now, there's two trains of thought here. If this breaks through and keeps on going, the chances are it won't stop for a long time. So we don't know. But what we do know is that an aggressive move has to release a bit of pressure. Well, it's that pressure release that I'm looking for. Okay. So if I come back to here, I can now see the formation of a stall there it's gone down stopped dead it's tried pushed up it's come back down but this is my little bit of a worry so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave the camera running and over the course of the next hour i'm going to look to see if it'll push up and hopefully grab some money out of it because there's not a great deal to stop it you know what i'm and what i mean by that is it's it's quite tight to the bottom and there's nothing on its way up to cause it any mayhem so if it's retracing there's no reason it can't go to here you know sort of breaching that and that is a big move guys it's a good good size move so what i'll do is i'm just gonna let the camera run i'm gonna grab some money and then i'll come back and we'll see if i'm
Okay, boys and girls. The pop I've been waiting for and building up to has just come. I've just killed it because I think it's time to um, to get out. And we're about to just close it all down. And happy days. That's it. Done. So, has it been a good day? I would say so. I would say that was a spectacular bit of work this morning. And why? Patience and trusting what I was doing. And it's literally as simple as that, guys. Um, this could rock it all the way up. But one of the things you need to do is be very wary of price movement and spikes because as quick as they go up they can come back and they do know that do you know what she's doing do you know what she's doing she's straight on the next he's literally good too She's screwed in the, under the shopping website because she's just saying, you, you absolute cow. <laughs> I might be you. <laughs> Wait, all right, that's all right. Well, there we go. So what happened? Why, why, why was today good? Why was I building into it in one thing and another? There was a colossal drop on Friday. It was a, it was a news event. Now, these events often retrace on themselves quite violently. Now this morning, if you watch the Morning Star, I said I was very unsure as to what may happen here. And it could well tank. And if it tanks, I'm going to have to be careful. Well, it did, but then it stopped. And it stopped at a logical point that it didn't seem to be breaking. And that was the, the kind of lines that you saw me drew. So that gave me an arena. It was a wide arena, and it was... It, it was kind of a dangerous trade in the sense that if it kept on going, I would have been in a world of pain. But as long as it stayed within my arena, I was very happy. And that's one of the things of trading. You know, as long as you know what you're looking for and you're prepared to go with it, you'll be fine. Now, all I did was every time it moved up, took the lump off, put it back in, which allowed me to put multiple, multiple positions in. Because every single one of them was paid for by carving off. And then, of course, you got your normal stop loss and then happy days and away we go. So that was it. Three grand for about three hours work. Thousand pound an hour. Live with that. So there you go, boys and girls. Um, all I'll say is plan your trades. If you do want to see kind of how I do it, do come see the Scruffy Squad. Um because I show those guys exactly the ignition point, what I'm looking for, and why it works in the first place. So, there we go. I'm off celebrating tonight. So, as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, and above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.